I think something there, I'm assuming, led you to believe the market is changing again uh, and in a big significant way. Uh, for you yeah. to say, I'm going to, you know, leave the position that I was, you know, leave the work that I was doing at Euroflex and completely build a new brand, uh, which whatever said and done, right? You obviously have the know-how from working at Euroflex. You probably have the manufacturing support from Euroflex, but creating a brand, um, going out and creating a new brand, when you're talking about Duroflex, that's a brand that's been there for 30, 40 years at that point in time. That would have been a very hard call. What led you to take that call that I'm going to move away and build a completely new brand called Sleepyhead? I think I think it's within the Indian blood to always think what can be done new. So like I said, again, we are blessed with, you know, 1.4 billion people today. Uh, when we are doing this exercise, and I think I mentioned this before, speaking of today, which is 2022, we're still speaking of, I think the mattress market has grown to about 12,000 crore today. And still for 1.4 billion people, 12,000 crore is is a bare single digit, uh, you know, penetration of the segment into the Indian population. So what we also realized at that point in time is there is this whole young audience who are getting exposed to a lot of, you know, online e-commerce uh, you know, uh, majority of the population are, you know, getting there are Gen Z and millennials. Uh, and when we looked into the Indian economics, we were looking at, you know, the e-commerce contributing to probably just 2% of India's GDP. I mean, today today is at maybe 4.5 to maybe 5 or 6%. And at that point in time, and when you look at the population which you have to cater to, it was important that we actually make the shift. And the way we were building Duroflex was to be a you know, mass premium brand. This is a brand with very technologically driven products, much superior quality. But the audience coming to the e-com space is not really that today. You know, if you actually look at how the cell phone market evolved in the e-com space, uh, probably about 10, 12 years back, I don't think people have thought you know, you can probably sell a 1 lakh or 1.2 lakh iPhone online maybe 10 to 12 years back. It's a, it's a, it's a trend people need to, you know, consume. It takes time. So today, the online market is a, a bit nascent in terms of, you know, people adopting very uh, high quality, high priced product. Uh, but it was important that we be there from day one so that, you know, you can actually learn, uh, you know, where this market is going to. And... Believe me, the online space changes almost every day. The need yeah, for the consumer yeah, for changes sure. almost every day. And, uh, you know, any new brand coming up with a better service, that becomes a new benchmark. So it's a, it evolves almost, you know, on an hourly basis. So we wanted to be part of the journey as well. And we knew because of how we are positioning Duroflex, Duroflex couldn't possibly play in the same segment. And that's why we pivoted to a new brand, which is, much more young, much more colorful, uh, you know, young, vibrant. And, you know, we always knew mattress is a very boring category. And, you know, the way we've positioned and, you know, um, made the brand sleepyhead is definitely to address an online audience. So that's why we made it very colorful and exciting. And, you know, a new campaign itself is, you know, away from just resonating to anything which is comfort. We, a new campaign is called Fun and Fabulous. So, you know, it's very different from a very traditional approach in terms of how we sell mattresses. Okay, so that that explains why you wanted to do it. Why you wanted to do it differently. Um, I want to zoom in a little bit on how did you go about executing this, right? Because this is something that we are seeing where a lot of these family-owned businesses are now seeing their next generation come in. The next generation obviously comes in with new insights because they are they are the target segment, right? And they know what's going to resonate with the target segment along with me. Uh, they want to make certain changes. And I I actually personally know of many those many of those people who had those bright ideas but couldn't make it work in a traditional family you know family business setup because you just don't get the same kind of uh, you know buy in or you don't get the same kind of execution speed. All of those things. How did you execute on the sleepyhead idea? Was it yeah, I, I'm gonna uh, tell you. I'm gonna let you tell us uh, how did you yeah, decide so, to execute. Uh, very, very good question. Um, so I think we were very fortunate to have a very stable running business, which was Duroflex, uh, state with state of the art manufacturing. I think we were very well backward integrated 
to make pretty much all the components uh, of you know uh, the mattress uh, we are very particular in the quality of products which we give so i mean from day one we always looked at how do we backward integrate so that we have control on every aspect of the material going in so when when we had a very solid uh, base in terms of manufacturing process people it was easy to plug out use all these facilities and uh, processes but what we did a bit different is i put in a new team because we really needed different thinking for online um, i mean you know it's a different thought process the way of business is different uh, the 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 different complexities which come in when it comes to online so i put in a new team but we leverage the entire system which we have from duraflex so that really helped in terms of you know uh, reducing all the capital investments which we need to put in for manufacturing uh, and i could use uh, increase the efficiencies at the duraflex factory so that we got cost efficiencies so it worked in multiple ways so you use what is absolutely required from duraflex and you know build in a separate team so that you know the thinking is different for an online consumer so again in terms of sales process duraflex traditionally followed a, a distributor a dealer led model and here we were you know going directly to a consumer model so uh, every aspect of business need to be changed in terms of you know your uh, first mile logistics your last mile logistics your customer experience everything was a very important aspect when it came to sleepy head so over here um matthew you just mentioned how you had to change everything in the entire process right um and that's basically the entire what we would call a value chain uh, where mm-hmm. there's the manufacturing there's the logistics there's the service to the customer the manufacturing uh, i'm assuming was being handled by duraflex right you guys were Correct. buying it from duraflex yeah. uh, but first let's just talk about that what exactly is the manufacturing process for uh, a mattress just out of curiosity end of the day uh, making a good mattress is a combination of four or five key different raw materials so it could be foam it could be spring it could be coir now when i put it that way it becomes very easy for anybody to make it but what <laughs> what really pushes the boundaries is the amount of knowledge which we had to make a mattress which kind of suits a good amount of uh, you know audience in india and you know there are many aspects which needs to go through to actually make a good uh, mattress you know the durability of the mattress the support which gives to the consumer how much it needs to really help this particular individual throughout the night so that you know they wake up completely refreshed now where it gets complicated is it also is very dependent on you know individual every person has a different body type uh, every person has a different sleeping pattern the positions you sleep so we i think at that point in time duraflex would have sold to at least 10 to 20 lakh different customers that we had all this data to really understand what kind of products really works and that kind of r&d was brought into sleepyhead in terms of you know uh, getting the right product and in sleepyhead we have only four different mattresses whereas in duraflex we have about 40 different mattresses depending on what kind of sleeper you are what need you need and all that but the portfolio which we have in sleepyhead is a very small portfolio because we understand it's a different set of consumers which we offer